Michael, this is the one you and I have been up to lately as well. As the first to send this new major content update is releasing early. Anthony Fartino over at Insider Gaming tells us all about it. In a new post on X, Nexon announced that the anticipated Week 5 update for the first Senate will now release early on July 31st of 2024. Exxon originally planned to release the update just a day later on August 1st, 2024, so it isn't arriving much earlier than expected, really, but it's still a move. If anything, it's just kind of rare to see. We this is not something we see at all. I have been following mm -hmm. them still. Michael, are you still playing? I'm... I'm just reaching the point where I was That's looking for the new update. I've got okay. some friends who I'm like, hey, they're way more involved than me. I'm like, hey, when's the next update coming? I'm starting to get bored. So this will, you know, this will bring me back a little bit. I was reaching that point where I'm like, we need some new content, need yeah. something else to focus on. So I'm happy, as you said, day early, whatever, but still a cool move nonetheless, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. They also, uh, with Nexon, further revealed the look at the Alt for Valby uh, cosmetic, which is the footage was purely cinematic and did not include any new gameplay as seen in the brief trailer. So there is a new look, more skins, new stuff on the way, right? Week 5 update yep. will introduce new descendants, gear, balancing changes, and more. Nexon recently teased an image of, Lu of Luna uh, of via Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. But a new decent uh, descendant described as a buff-type supporter who uses music for their special abilities. Mm -hmm. Interesting. We'll see how that one goes. Next, I'll elaborate on the Week 5 update. It was an official preview just the other day. There will be a new Peace Mediator weapon, RK Concentration Module, and Mutated Devourer type gluttony, and more. So, lots to come down the pipeline for the first Ascendant. I'm, dude, honestly, I'm just falling off, right? I was mm -hmm. expecting to jump in here, play with my brother and be here for quite a while because i was having a good time i thought the game was solid i think it runs well we talked about the microtransactions in the game and that we can always talk about that if we wanted to but it's just i think people get it at this point right it's just one of those things that whoo yeah it's there <laughs> if yeah. you want it right yeah. but the gameplay itself dude it was solid but it gets repetitive every time you get to a boss fight you beat the boss round one but round two gets in the orbs pop you gotta take out the orbs take out the boss and that's a rinse and repeat. And this is when you get into that live service model of how how can they make it different every time? And it's not. And then that's where I'm starting to fall off, right? A new mm -hmm. uh, patch, though. This major update could change the game. and might pull me back in and just it will at least take a look to see what we're getting into. I am kind of disappointed that I have fallen off. I've got other things on the go. It's just one of those things that, man, this is one of the games I was really hoping to grind day in and day out. Look for those daily challenges. Dude, I bought the battle pass, right? Like, I was <laughs> I was all in, and then everybody bailed on me. And I'm the only one over here. But, Michael, at least we got you in. So, yeah, dude, we should team up and work together. Because uh, to play this one solo doesn't work. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, you're, you're totally right. The solo grind, that's what I've been struggling with. And, and I think we talked about this a lot, right? When, when I first got into it, when you were showing me all the ropes. This game just needs a good roadmap and to stay on point and this i think is the first block they've still got a long way to go i think you hit a lot of the issues that players have the gameplay is a little bit repetitive yeah. but as long as they're releasing updates and their updates are coming out on schedule or even ahead of schedule even if it is just one day i think that's just what this game needs if you get into delays and oh there's bugs we got to push it back a week and a week that's where this game will start to fail so at least i'm happy their first major update is going off without a hitch. We'll see how good it is. I know a new Descendant always hype. I'm not a supporter person, so it doesn't get me super hype, but I still think that they're moving in the right direction, which is something I think both of us want because we both want to like and want to play this game. No, absolutely, right? It's very rare, too, like you say, that we see a game drop and update the day before plan instead of just not getting delayed. Like that's what mm -hmm. we're so accustomed to these days is, ah, oh, we have to wait. You're going to have to wait another week for the new update, this, that, and the other. Instead, we're getting a day early. Hey, that's pretty cool. And that's something we see very often. And yeah, the new Descendant is enough. Supportive role in the first Descendant, though, for me right now, just doesn't seem to work. Like, yeah. I, I don't think it's necessary. Like, it is not one of those games where I feel like I'm losing a lot, where I need that support. It is a nice touch. But if you get into that role, obviously, you can really benefit to have that there, especially in the later levels when you get into some of these tougher bosses and, and so forth. And the Colossi that are really kind of ramping up is they. Dude, the levels of the Colossi are huge. So there's, yeah. there's that to get into as well. But 
Yeah, we want to hear from you guys. Are you still playing the first Senate? Hit us up. ITGTV.com.